I hear we're doing something special for your massage this month. So you're going to get the tea time treatment? That's great. I think you're really going to love it. Well, let me tell you all about it. So we use four different kinds of tea as part of this treatment. We're going to start off with giving you a nice herbal tea to drink. We like to start off with herbal because we want you to be nice and relaxed. So we don't want any caffeine to start off with. Uh, and I'll tell you about your options for that. And then we're going to go into a scrub. It's a really interesting scrub. So we actually make it with um, ginger oolong tea. So it's a black tea and that ginger as well. We mix it up with a little bit of coconut oil and we're going to scrub that all over your body. And the caffeine in the oolong helps to firm the skin as well. So this is not only a relaxing massage, but it's a beauty treatment as well, which is always nice. And then we're going to move on to the massage portion. And it's a very special massage. We use a white tea oil. Yes. And that also has a little bit of caffeine in it, not as much. So it'll help you to relax, but it will also continue to firm your skin up a little bit. And then we're going to close off with a um, green tea just to drink to help hydrate and staying well hydrated after a massage is great because it helps to flush out all the toxins that may have been released from your muscles during the massage and the green tea is nice because it's got a little bit of caffeine not much um, ours is actually a brown rice green tea, so it's got brown rice, sorghum, and a little bit of green tea. So it's actually got a little less caffeine. And it's got a very interesting kind of nutty taste. I absolutely love it. I fell in love with it in Indonesia, where I would actually just drink um, brown rice tea, and you would actually just take unhulled rice and brew it like tea. And it's really delicious. So, but this is a actual tea blend, so it's got a little bit of the green tea in there as well. And it'll wake you up a little bit, but not enough um, to harsh your mellow. So, does that sound good? Okay, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. So, let's start off with your tea to drink. So, we have a nice chamomile. We have... Um, a vanilla rooibos. It's also from the same company we get the ginger oolong from. And it's really beautiful. Have you ever had rooibos before? Um, herbal teas aren't technically teas because they're not made with tea leaves. Um, but we, we call them teas anyway because they're brewed like a tea. And so uh, rooibos is actually the bark of a tree. And then it's got a little, so it's, it's uncaffeinated. Um, and it's got a little bit of vanilla flavoring in there too. We have another one that's really nice that's a honey rooibos. But I actually prefer the vanilla. Um, and then we also have, it's like, it's called wild orange. So it's just sort of an orange um, blend with a bunch of different, mostly dried fruits. So do any one of those... You want to try the rooibos? I don't blame you. Okay. So I've got each of them brewed because if our guests don't drink them, we do. So we've got the rooibos right here. Delicious. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is great. Um, you put the tea, the loose tea in the bottom, and then it's got the strainer up top. You can also just use a French press. That's my secret. Um, a lot of people don't think to use a French press. We, we make coffee with French press at my house too, so we also just use the French press well cleaned for tea as well. But this is a nice special tea strainer. It's also great for iced tea because you can just let it cool a little bit and then put the whole pitcher in the 
refrigerator. So here you go. Cheers. Okay. So while you drink that, I am going to just tell you about the next part. So the next part is going to be this ginger oolong. I'm going to have you change and you're going to want to put on the paper uh, underpants that we have because the um, scrubs can get a little messy. So this is um, this is con it's considered a dry room, and what that means. So, yeah, if you want to see what this looks like, so basically it's just oolong tea, and it's also got kind of fell out there. It's got pieces of ginger in it. I love ginger, um, and the ginger also. Um, properties of the ginger help to firm your skin up as well so it's a really nice beauty treatment and then we mix it up with coconut oil I like to anytime you're doing a beauty treatment use coconut oil because then you smell wonderful um, it's scrubs don't tend to leave as much of a scent on your body but the oil from the, the coconut the coconut oil will stay in your skin um, and it mixes well with the white tea oil that we will use. So, I will have you change. And I will have you put on the paper underwear. We'll use the scrub all over your body. Um, and then I will just pour some water into a bowl and use a towel to wipe it off. Because it is a large scrub, you know, most of the tea pieces are big. It's not like salt. Salt's a little bit diff more difficult to get off without a shower, although it can be done as long as you um, know what you're doing. Um, but it's a scrub like this with larger pieces is much easier to just wipe off the body with a wet towel. So we're going to do that. And then I will move right into the massage. So because of this kind of scrub, um, I can move right into the massage without you having to go take a shower, which is really nice and keep you nice and relaxed, okay? All right, and we'll do a little bit of a meditation, um, healing meditation while we're doing the massage, and then we'll end with that nice green tea, okay? All right, I'm going to leave you. Let you get changed, and I'll be right back. your back. That's not too harsh, right? Okay. I know I've been to some spas where um, I really felt rather beat up from my scrub. <laughs> so I don't want that. Okay. Just let yourself relax. You're in good hands. No worries at the moment, okay?
to just wipe that off with a wet towel. So I'm going to pour some water in. makes like a barrier between your skin and the water so the water just pulls all the tea and the ginger off and the oil just stays nice on your body the nice thing is that coconut oil is going to really soak in and hydrate your skin so then when we use the white tea lotion that's just going to be an extra glide your skin will be nice and hydrated. Oh, you're going to feel so good. Okay. All right. Okay, so let me just lift up the towel here and have you flip over. Slide down. Okay, great. All right. So let me get a little bit more scrub. going to use any scrub on your face. Um, if you want something like that, you would want an exfoliating uh, facial. But we're not going to do that today. Yeah, this, these kind of body scrubs are just a little bit too harsh. Okay, so let me have your arm. That doesn't hurt, right? Okay. Okay. Let me get the top of your chest. Okay. Okay. A little bit more water. not going to hurt you if it stays on your body. But the nice thing is it is so big that we won't be able to catch it off. Okay. So now we're ready to move right into the massage if that's okay with you. Alright. So we'll just start with you face up. So I'm just going to start working. around 
to your arms and the front of your legs and then I'm going to have you flip over and I'm going to work on the back of your legs and your back, okay? So let me just start off using this more of the white tea oil and just work on your arm. Massaging the biceps, using my forearms to massage your biceps and triceps. Not working on the sensitive area. The, right in here, there are a lot of nerve endings, so we don't do a lot of massage there. because It's not comfortable. Okay, and around your elbow. Yeah, getting rid of that dry elbow. You're definitely going to be ready for summer. Arms. Just using my thumbs, working up the back of your arm and up the front of your arm. Okay. <sighs> Take some deep breaths with me. Okay, I'm working on your wrist and the back of your hand in between the bones, on the back of your hand, down each finger, kind of pushing down on each fingernail. Surprising how good that feels. Same thing on this side, just working with your leg first and then your arm. And I want you to just start. Just take a deep breath and go into meditation for me. So just allowing yourself to deeply relax with this massage. All of your muscles relax and along with it your brain relaxes. It's hard to keep our brains stressed when our body's relaxed and vice versa. Okay, just keep letting that go. And now I want you to picture yourself walking through a forest Maybe a forest you've been in before, or one you've only imagined. And soon you see... A little brook. I say little 
but it's big enough to have a swim in if you want it. Just working on your arm now. And it is a warm day and you have been walking for a while. And the temptation of the water is almost unbearable as it looks so cool and clean and it is moving gently without any rocks through the forest and you decide to just succumb to the temptation and you begin to walk into the water and lay down on your back in the water and you feel so relaxed and at peace as you very slowly and gently drift with the water until you begin to lose track of where your body ends and where the water begins and your body seems to grow and flow until you realize that you have become the water. How does it feel to be this water? What do you think? What do you feel? What do you know? Just feel how it is to be the water and keep this feeling as you gently roll over and place your face in the face cradle. my knuckles on the bottom of the foot and twisting and doing the same on the other foot I want you to return to this feeling of being water as I massage your foot and as you travel through the forest, as this stream, you come upon some campers with a campfire. And you see the fire. What do you want to say to the fire as water? What does the fire want to say to you? Do you have questions for one another? What are your differences? What are your similarities? How can you work together? In what areas are you dangerous together? And you can continue to talk to the fire. 
as I move up to your leg. Just spreading the lotion all up and down my leg. And using my knuckles on your thigh. Back of your thigh, your hamstrings. Just doing long strokes up this large muscle. And working around your knee. with my thumb separating the muscle on the back of your calf. It has two different halves and you can separate them. And then kneading along your calf. moving to the other leg. And I want you to bid fire farewell. Thank it for any lessons it has taught you. And continue to flow through the forest. And as you move, you feel the breeze above you. What do you want to say to the air? What does the air want to say to water? How can you work with the air? What does the air know that you need to learn? How can you and air work together? And where should you stay apart? Okay. And now moving to your back. I want you to continue to chat with air if you have more to say. I spread the lotion all down your back, working up your spine on either side, never actually working the spine, working the muscles on either side of your spine. And now focusing on one hip, just working the top the hip and then kneading all the way up your back to work on the shoulder, pinching the top of the shoulder blade a little bit, not so it hurts, and smoothing down from your neck to your shoulder. Working with my fingers around the shoulder blade. Now with my thumb spreading along the actual shoulder blade. All the rotator cuff muscles in there. There's a lot of tension in there. Let it all go. This is a safe place to relax. I'm working back down, again using my knuckles on either side of your hip bone, pulling with my forefingers across from the muscles next to your spine to the side, and then using palm of my hand to go back towards the spine. And as I do that, back and forth, working my way up your back. Again, to your shoulder, working out any remaining kinks you may have in your shoulder. Are you feeling good? And now, 
using my forearms to stretch diagonally across and using my elbow a little bit to move up along the side of your spine. Okay, and moving to the other side of your back. This side of your back, I want you to bid farewell to air and thank it for what you have learned. And I want you to continue to flow until soon you can see a mountain off. Not far. And I want you to say hello to Earth. The Earth that is below you, but that is visible in the mountain to the side of you as well. And the mountain that you originally came from. And I want you to Say what you need to say to earth. What does earth need to say to water? How are you similar? Where can you work together? What are your differences that may complement or may work against each other? Yourself returning into a body that is floating down the river. And as you come to a shallow place, I want you to sit up and climb out of the water. Thank the water for your journey. And begin to walk back through the forest. As you begin to return to this physical body, hear the sounds of my hands on your skin, feel me massaging the back of your neck, pulling and pressing right in to the bones at the base of your skull, releasing those muscles in your neck that are often so tense. Placing my hand on the back of your head and at the top of your hip and just taking three deep breaths to return you fully to your body.
your green tea. And I'll just pour that for you. And just leave it right here on the table next to the massage table. And I want you to take your time getting off the table as this has been quite a deeply relaxing experience. And when you're ready, get changed and come on out and I will meet you in the relaxation room. Okay, I hope you're feeling so much better.